Hey guys, welcome to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to see the number of challenges of QA process. So before we understand the, the challenges for a QA process, you have to know what is QA process, different activities in QA process, roles and responsibilities, and so on. If you don't know, you know, I have a separate tutorial or, or video in regards to uh, the QA process, please go through, check the below in description, I have a link for that. So go through that and understand the high level, you know, content about the cure process. Then assume that you know the cure process. So a quality assurance, you know, the process isn't always a smooth one. Testing is a fundamental part of QA and the making sure you do the right test to deliver a great piece of software. So let's have a look into the main challenges for a QA process in very high level. The first one, it's be specific. Unfortunately, the QA does not come with a one size fits of all solution. You have to create specification to suit your product or services. There are so many types of testing we know like a unit test, a smoke test, regression test, API testing, integration, and so on. You need to understand the different type of testing and how to choose the most relevant to your product or service. So this is one of the big challenges to be a specific. And the number two, it's uh, testing can be time consuming. It means like, one of the main challenges of QA process is that it can take a long time. We all know if you're, you know, in QA pro, uh, profession, you know that the testing is one of the very time consuming things. Testing activities can be the most time consuming expect, even with automation testing, especially if you need to write new test cases and script from the scratch, you know, given that your product will be being regularly tested and updated, it can sometimes take longer than expected to reach the end point or end goal, you could say. So optimizing your testing strategy is crucial, but you have to do it with through a QA specialist and a dedicated project manager can help on this to minimize your, you know, uh, time consuming process. And the number three, it's unclear expectation. So when dealing with the clients, it's important that the project team are in constant communication with the stakeholder. If you fail to create a clear project objective, it can, it can really mean that expectation might not be met. And in my, you know, in, in my real life experience, especially a uh, startup company, I have seen that kind of issues always. So your test script need to directly related to the in objective. You know, this is one of the very challenging thing. Like when you're very unclear expectation, your test will meet the objective, the goal. So, a, so a lack of communication can cause confusing among the testing team, among the whole DAP team, even, you know, it's result to fail to deliver a in a quality product or committed product. And the last but not the least is automation tools. So automation tools can help at various stage of software development. And the main one here is automation, automating, uh, you know, automated your testing. However, you need experience and skill development team to successfully use automation tool to get the advantages. You also need to understand that the automation is the best suited, the right automation framework, automation language, and even before that, the right tools that, that would be the, you know, bring the best benefit for your product or your application in regards to the, the automation language even. So, you know, the automation tools, you know, it sounds very charming, but it has a lot of drawback. Finding the right tools, you know, for your application, the, the right person, the skillful people, and, and the train, give them a right training, proper training, all those things is one of the big challenges. Okay.
So that's all the, you know, for, uh, the challenges, I feel like it's, you know, it's, it is, uh, uh, the blocker or drawback for queue process. So that's, you know, so to overcome those challenges, it's not only you need that QA specialist, but also you, you need a proper, like, you know, high level, high experience, like the managers or the team lead or QA, uh, you know, director who can guide through the right path and bring up all the, you know, the solution to overcome those issues. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.